like to give people the ball. So I think, you know, obviously Kevin knows if he passes me the ball, there's a good chance if he gets open on a layup, back cut, that I'm going to pass him. And uh, same with everybody. Miller. Martin. Wide open. Uh, Martin now with baseline against LeBron. A lot of muscular battle there. Our test gave it up. Miller for three, and he'll bury it. Brad Miller stepping out on the floor, and he can do that to hit the long range bomb. Yes, he can. And I was getting ready to say, you watch Miller out there. Eight of the afternoon. Back cut again. How many times have we seen it? Kevin Martin wins that race against Ricky Davis. Yeah, Rick, I'll tell you what, Ricky just is just is not he's not getting his head on a swivel. He's not getting proper position. Kevin Martin is taking advantage. And again, Ricky's too high. He can't see the ball. He can't see his man. And it's just too easy. It's just like easy pickings right now. Kevin Martin is just exploiting Ricky Davis. Spurs you down, but you talk to him and you get to know him. Class act like Sharif, this guy has really got it. Oh, good feed from Miller. I think the rookie Martin right at the rim. Avery probably, Avery, Avery probably threw a fit on him. And I've seen some of those fits, and let me tell you, that snapped him into shape. Martin set up nicely by Miller. Hit me with Williams. Martin going by Wayne and looking for Miller, who works by Toyolak and goes in. It's a one-point game. And a nine-second differential on the clock, so very smart play that time by Sacramento. They did not need a three. Throws it up and in. Absorbed the contact and made the hoop. And the right play, because Shreve did not want to pick up his fourth. Well, he has two. I mean, his third. So he kind of laid off. Sacramento going inside underneath to Kevin Martin. Well, that's the difference right Last night, Ewing misses. People which kind of roll their eyes talking about whether or not it was real, imagined, or good. Wow. That's a beautiful feed from Miller to Martin. Oh, Brazilian like that, you've got to be that philosophical. Dunleavy got a dunk, and now he gets the outside shot down. So, And, and that actually, as Martin goes inside, he can jump, can he? Magic said that. And what they call the Boston Massacre is after the Celtics crush the Lakers. Just leave him out there and let him work himself into shape. Well, same thing with Diago as well. I agree. Uh, Diago did not help out soon enough. Don Nelson looks at, oh, he sees everything out here. And he's going to see that nobody made an adjustment from the weak side. And Diago was late getting that help out. The best percentage shooter really on this team. Gerald fumbles it and loses it. Three on one break the other way. Miller throws it. Oh, nicely done. Right. All right. That was pretty. He and Delonte both in double figures. And we're tied at 36. Well, Miller can't cover him. We figured that out. It was Martin sneaking in for two. Uh, that was Gerald. That was a uh, inexperienced defensive play. <laughs> That's what you call a ball watch. I think, you know, there are a lot of people that can score on this team right now. There's four of them in the ball game. Oh, Martin gets free again. Well, Gerald and Delante got tangled up. He does. Martin on a breakaway. Score it and a foul. Heads up play by Martin. Well, I don't know who Heads up play not only by Martin, Martin but I think it was Martin Bibby who made the pound. That looked like that went off the other side of the backboard. Miller got a piece of it as yeah. well. Miller, Miller hit it. Wyatt Knight for Bibby. Six points in the game. He feeds Miller. Martin fires the three. So 14 tonight for Kevin Martin, the lead Sacramento. Yeah, just keep hanging around. Never... More physical play here tonight. Brad Miller, nice dish down low. And Kevin Martin, who only averages 13 shots a game, and yet has put up over 20 points.
Timberwolves certainly have responded here in the third quarter, but Sacramento's come right back from the corner. Martin hits the three. Kevin Martin, one of five from the field, just two points in the opening quarter. Since then, five of six from the field. They'll have 14 seconds to work with. Look at Kevin Martin again. It's Brad Miller, one of the best passing big men in basketball. Miller last year led the Kings in assists for a period of the ball a little bit more size. They were a very small team. Vivi off to Miller, picked up by Brown, and inside to Kevin Martin, who somehow snuck free. Now, uh, Brad Miller's a great passer. You know, he is, uh, when he was in that rotation, with body deep over and maybe change a shot. You don't block it, you don't rebound it. Those things don't show up in the stat sheet, uh, but they show up in wins and losses. And you know Scott Skiles sees those things watching the tape. What a pass by Brad Miller on the perimeter, inside for Kevin Martin. See, Brad Miller loves to have that ball at that elbow area and let guys cut to the basket, putting it all together this year. Offensive foul goes against the Pacers again. And things are just coming undone, and then quickly ahead of the pack, the Pacers fall asleep, and Martin gets an easy dunk. At the end of the quarter, you'll see both teams have a high assist rate. Good defense by Roy. Here's Martin back to Miller, a good perimeter shooter, and buries this one. And that's what Miller does. He gets out foul line extended. And there's one of the few teams that bring their ball. Overs in four and a half minutes for the Nuggets. Bibby. Not that time. Uh, good hustle from Kenny Thomas. Kings are playing probably their best ball of the season in the last week or so. With Martin knocks it down prior to a loss. Again. Back over his head and uh, gets his first one to go, but on the other end, really just having his uh, problems defensively, like Kevin Martin, far too quick for Martin, so Kings probably can exploit that uh, mismatch. Kings start thinking about it. Don't play quite as loose and free as they are right now. It's the whole key to playing any sport at a high level. And already, eight in this quarter. Well, that's eight shots you don't get to take. Backdoor caught Martin from Miller. And the Hornets lead whittled down to three. Defense screen by Brad Miller doesn't get the ball on one side, comes back on the other. Brad delivers it perfectly, and Kmart on target. There's that backdoor passing again. Backdoor passing. The Kings are very good at that. They, but every Sacramento on a long trip. Kevin Martin for Brad Miller. He's a good passer from that high post. And their half-court offense is set up for a while. Bass keeps it alive, but then the Kings control the defensive rebound. Martin guarded by Allen. Oh, he found Miller getting loose, slipping to the basket for the slam dunk. Nice backdoor cut by Miller. Tough pass by Kevin Martin. Able to thread the needle and get it to him. Back in the game, but you got to be aggressive now at both ends of the floor. So they're gonna have pressure on the ball, not let the Kings move the ball and then cut, which has been their key to success here in the second half. There it is. Beautiful backdoor cut from Mark. Gave it to Miller and it goes down to the baseline. And Miller is a very good passer. Basket, you have to compete with these Eastern teams. Ball regained by Martin. Another Watson on the block and the post up as he goes to the hole. Well, it was a mismatch and he took advantage of it. Caught Mo in his... You better, you better get all of your French out today because <laughs> Petro's on fire. <laughs> Here's Miller with it now. 1917 Sonics. Miller, nice pass. Down low to Martin. How do he get open? Well, they went to sleep on the initial count. It looked like they were going to cover him and then they didn't and he just continued on and got two more. Watson sneaks the other way, hunts down over the dribble. 